the bad news is is that South Dakota State's got some good looks at the basket. The good news is they haven't gone in so far. We'll see how that goes. Oh, good move. For first, especially in a transition opportunity like that where you had a driving lane. Now let the three-pointers come off of that. Fuller. Look here by South Dakota State. About a three second differential between game and shot clock. Mikhailu. Wow. Smart move when he saw his team have the rebound to pop for the wide open three. Just didn't go down. Turnover. It's Mike Dom stripping it away. Jordan Bohannon sets it up. Can't use the screen and then loses it. Mike Dom. It's a couple of players. Dom's been their best player all year, but it's quite a compliment with Dom and Jenkins. Here's Wesson. Touches. This is an important uh, period of time in the game, guys. If you mentioned Jay Sean Tate is out. Chris Holman has always talked about him being the alpha man. He had seven points against former Missouri Valley Conference foe, Missouri State. Oh. Shaquille. Shooter to let him do that. 42% from three. The kid can shoot it. Morris with shockers are also in the bonus. Jack wide open for a three. The opener against Wyoming. Now the Summit preseason player of the year, Mike Dahm. Ten points against the Iowa Islands. The difficulty to find Mike Dahm in transition on a loose ball scramble. He's going to run to the three-point line, find the empty wood. There's pure power. The big nine, 250. The Kimball, Nebraska native could be playing for the Cornhuskers. Maybe some DN. I'm going to say this. Yeah, it must have been. Don't shoot the jump shot yeah. and get to the rim. Dengu, nice little hesitation in the little scoreless. And you think about how Omaha has changed from last year to this year. I mean, last year's Omaha team, I mean, they turned you over like crazy. They traded on Hollins out there just wreaking havoc. And that's really, I think, one of the reasons Omaha, too, has struggled scoring offensively. They just haven't had a lot of those transition points. Danger Danger open look. With a big, couple bigs that can knock down threes like South Dakota State. Inside pass, Stevens spins inside, gets a shot off. No. Shot clock at eight. Hit a big steal. Ball fake. Three pointers up. Back on there. Williams the board. And here is Tate blocked by Dom. Watch North Dakota State there. Showing good patience again this possession. One with the ball. It's been a while since they could say that. Morris around Dom. Look at how well SDSU is off the basketball positioning, really helping telling you's in that time. Nick Fuller here in the Summit League. And Bates Diop goes right by him, hangs Jay Sean Tate there to clean it up. Try and get to the big man, Perkins on the block. Perkins inside working against Dom, gets it to go, a soft touch. From the field, they were at one time five for seven. And this looking for their first field goal in the past two and a half minutes. Owen Echek doubles down low, looking for help. Here, as long as his team's got the lead. 
Nick Fuller just checked in for South Dakota. Hagedorn goes out. Here's Mooney. And then this interesting matchup here you know, with Birch Manning against Mike Dom. here just controlling pace the lower the possessions can be in this game the more that favors the lower seed back to tech protect the lane dom just toes up the three-point line he has an excellent stroke six foot eleven tied up here as we approach the 16 minute mark of the first half There's Cook working against Dom right by him.